I think, yeah, no, of course, I'm just going to copy the feedback here. I want to keep the same proportions, right? Because right now, I have to swap between bones for the knuckle blaster and feedbacker. But this will be this will be called feedbacker slash whiplash. What what even are these? Hey Rosa. Hello. Can I take a photo of you? Say cheese. So pretty. Oh yeah. I get the feedbacker which is here. I'm just gonna edit. So I have general controls, feedbacker, and feedbacker hand controls is like IK it's time. Um so I'm going to duplicate the feedbacker. And hide all the detail collections and rename it whip. Okay. Uh, did it do? No. I think I should have hit duplicate collections link. Select object. Delete. That was fast. Okay. And then I want the feed tracker and I duplicate link. That's important to do. Now we have this. But, 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 but. Make sure we get the armature. And I object. Where is that? Relations. Make single user. Object and data and object animation. So now I rename this whiplash. Rename this whiplash. It's copying. This guy copies the transforms of arm.006. Wait. No, who? who's the, the base one? Oh. I have some hidden bone. Okay, wait. This guy has an extra bone. He has this one. Are there two here? No. Oh, what? Okay, so copy shoulder squat, and let's copy shoulder squat period 002. And then all of the drivers, no, 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 the drivers are fine, but the drivers in uh, shoulder holster should be here. Guns I don't want to see. Um, then this guy, I think there's just the one, yeah, who should be just working already, but. I think I set it up. Yeah. There's some driver. Is that it? There. Ah, oh, yeah. There's the base bone. Should have. I don't remember what I have. I have. I have three bones, and then this guy. He has the all of his drivers are the sum of all the other ones. I may have just made it the two. Oh, variable. It's just variable actually. Oh. Wait, what? I have it so that. Yeah, okay. Shoulder holster follow factor. I should probably call it feedbacker. I don't know if the names adapt on drivers. Did they adapt? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of dumb in how I did it. Where, I th where on this guy, they just have some placeholder bones. I mean, this is where it should go. So then I'm going to duplicate the knuckle blaster slot. I shift D, control R, 120 degrees, maybe negative, I don't know. And then this one will be named Whiplash Slot. Okay, then, uh, wait a minute. This guy will, oops, no. F3, copy constraints, just like the bones, but with a factor of Whiplash, that same bone in the Whiplash. I think I have a lot of different constraints. Nope, just the two. What, what are the two for? Oh yeah, because um, when it goes to point one, it locks in, and then when it goes here, it locks out, um, which makes this just go up and down, I think. Right? It should go up, down, up, down, okay. So I think I'm for sure gonna get rid of all of these. I'm almost certainly going to completely remodel this some bit. But I'm 100% going to delete these. I think this is the actual thumb. Yeah, early on when I was making this guy, um, add some of the hydraulics able to go infinitely far. But that did, that did, well, first of all, it caused bugging here. 
but it was also not very performant at all. You need to control L, link object data, control L, copy modifiers. I think I might keep. Okay. Why is that the pair? Delete all the curves. I think I can just delete this. Well, that's a shame. Uh, control the link object data. Yeah, this is now the placeholder model. That's that's kind of stupid that I made everything pointed to the outside. It's a shame because I'm thinking that actually that it'd be much better to have the hand when you have the big spike thing. Well, and then the hand holds it. The hand will be shaped like this, so that his fingers go like that. Not suits, for example. But like I could have it be symmetrical down the two fingers like that. This is in a way exaggerated. Um, but I think I'm just gonna keep it the same as the work glass or the feedback so that I don't have to do it much more because I'd have to add an entire other arm skeleton and then you know, here you have feedback or feedback or knuckle knuckle with flash before. Hello, Rosa. What do you want? Can you go outside? Yeah? Can you go outside? Yeah? Oh, I can't. Hold on. I need to, I need to move this. Uh, placeholder. Okay, okay, okay. Surely you wouldn't want to go on a walk. Hmm? Okay, let's go. Okay, so I think that I changed my mind on this. This should be like that. I'm just gonna mirror it and I'll go unmirror it later. Okay, I have a hinge here. And the whole thing is gonna be like that, which is good. And then I guess that the whole thing could be on this as well, which is all in the same uh, origin. Oh, what if I put these like above it? That would be kind of funny. I don't like it though. Whatever, I'm bored. Um, <laughs> so, for rigging these, uh, holy. It's usually, probably, faster to use like three damp tracks, two damp tracks, that go to work, or lock tracks, this, I think. But, because the finger, the first joint goes more than 180 degrees, a lock track. No, we're gonna have this one first. He's gonna point like that. So as soon as this goes here, he's gonna point forwards. But then when this guy goes backwards, this guy is gonna spin around and point backwards. But if you use IK, it kind of just works. <laughs> so you shrink this guy to 0.4. I like 0.4. Should be 0.8. Then you make a target. I'm not really doing anything. Then, control, oops, control P, keep offset. 
Then you do this. Then get rid of the. Oh my! Oh, the constraints. Those are just for copying to V1. Then shift I to active bone. Two. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm gonna want this guy. Wait. No, it's not gonna work. Um. You can get away with just two. Yeah, the husband's always parallel with this guy right there. He's gonna be pointing at it. But that's not gonna be happening here because. Wait. This guy goes on this guy. And then this guy goes on uh, this guy. Right, and now we do. This guy will be just on the Y. This guy will be just on the uh, X. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. So you only ever have the two, right? Because this is the third one. So that was working for this guy's the last access. But I want the twist to be the first one in the chain. And the last one's gonna be Z. So just make the Z the twist. Well, I'm going I'm intuiting that it should be this way. But when I think about it, it should be this way. I'm gonna twist by thinking first. Mm -hmm. Um Let's just see. This guy's parented on. Do I see? More button on there. So we have this guy, wait, this one. What? Hold on. Where are all these guys parented to? Shift G. The, oh my god, Shift G. Parent. I thought so. Okay. Oh my god. I, I hate that. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, that's just because I am insistent on removing uh, the inverse. Um, wait, this guy moves on. Yeah. And now, it's nice. This is unfortunate. Probably just bevel it. Great. That's the bar. You know, unless you're like forcing it, the finger doesn't usually go further than that. Yep. Okay, so I just need three. And so this one can be like attached in that little circle. Um, not entirely sure how to do this. But if I'm doing this, this is kind of gross. Instead, I could have two that go from here, or that go from here to here. Awesome. Shift D. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Because I'm an idiot. Like, this could have been a hinge. It's a circle anyway. Wait, it's all parent to these guys. Right, I can do that. That's not bad topology. Right, so now I have no control over that. This technically works. And then I have the other one. Oh. And then I have um, one here, which you're not getting the one you're using less, actually. I did make somewhere over here. I made some offset hydraulics. I think it's... And I think I'm going to stick with this. I don't really know what else I would do. I could have some kind of webbing. It would have looked cooler if I made the splaying, um, the first joint, because then I could have a bunch of hydros. Oh, I want the double offset, which there was no point in me making it. It works. And I just bumped this up a little bit. 
intersection. Perfect, you can't actually move your fingers like this. Okay, repaint back to this guy, I think. I might as well just do it like this, yeah. Okay. with inspiration. I instead, wait, yeah, for the finger like this way, I'm gonna have a bunch of bars that face forward so I'm gonna have hydraulics connect each one, and then I'll have to have one go to the base, at least only one though. So it's gonna be funny like that. But then that means you need to get these to point forwards from here, and I can't use this one because these are all angled, I think. Right? Yeah, towards the hand. So, I got these extra bones here, which are all going to be painted. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. and then these guys, which are painted to the first joint here, so they just spin around. Put it on a separate axis, and then I'm going to close your C a damp track, or maybe locked track is better. You could do locked track on the X. Where is locked? It's like over there. I'm gonna switch this part. Yep, I mean, I remember that. It's good. Lock on the X, right? It's good. No, yeah, for some reason I knew that wouldn't work. But, I'm thinking about it, and it should work. Oh, whatever. At any rate, it doesn't matter if it does accidentally move on the line. Okay, and then, go up. And then, go up the rest of the then I want these guys, which are pointed to an object, to so clear them so they don't have an inverse or something. And then, each one goes on this guy. Wait, oh, yeah. Uh, on this guy. Alt P clipping, which are alt, 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 alt RGS. Actually, yeah, I'll just keep it like that because then, then they will have different lengths. Oh, right, he's gonna be interjecting it to me. Um, should be good now, right? We'll see that that happens. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.